Hi. How are you ni? I suspect buko salama hata pia mimi niko salama. Okay guys, my name is Golden Diamond and if you are new here, maybe this is your first time watching my videos. Huh? Please I beg, I beg, make sure you subscribe. So today guys, I have an inspirational story that I want to share with you. The story will motivate you and will help you. But before that, I have a life experience, eh? a uh, so funny life experience that I want to share with you okay guys so just sit down relax and enjoy utakunya gin ama whiskey gin apembili so before that i have a funny story to share with you unajua guys kenya hakuna kazi hiyo ni ukweli kenya hakuna kazi hata nyinyi mnajua kenya hakuna kazi so kama mnavyojua wenyewe mimi ni msomi kama kusoma nimesoma hmm? nimesoma hadi Kajinga High School in Dondori ha huh? Makerere University in Kampala ha huh? Kinyata University zote Kenya mzima mimi nimesoma so kazi ndio aku, hakuna so juzi nikifanya kazi ya kutafuta kazi hmm? kama mnavyojua mimi nafanyanga kazi ya kutafuta kazi hmm? katika pilka pilka zangu za hapa pale kule news ha huh? Nikapata kazi wana advertise pale Nairobi Museum. Hmm? Nikapata there's a vacant they need somebody in Nairobi Museum. Hmm? Si mimi nika apply 1 2 3 4 things. Wakanidungia simu wakaniambia niende i niende interview. Sasa siku ya interview. Si nikaenda interview, hmm? Wakaniuliza zile maswali zote zenyi mnajonga ni maswali gani wanauliza pale kwa interview. So position ilikuwa ni Walitaka mtu avae mavazi za gorilla. Ha, act kama gorilla wamweke pale kwa cage ndio watu wakuje wa waone gorilla jua alikuwa na gorilla but kwa bahati mbaya the gorilla ilipa ilipa asili dead so na walikuwa me by gorilla kutoka US so unajua transport kutoka US hadi Kenya nini pia ina take time ina take time but for the time being unapata watu wanakuja kuona hao ma animals nini na kuna gori gorilla so inabidi watumie alternative so alternative ilikuwa ni wachukue mse avai nguo za gorilla ya yeah, na act kama gorilla na wekwe kwa cage so nilifikiria nikafikiria 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 nikaona ah hii job siwezi lakini juu kulikuwa na dopoa nikasema ah wacha tu nifa nifanye so kifanya juu nilipenda but nilifanya juu ya do juu ya do so siku ya kwanza nikaekwa kwa cage nikaanza tu ku act ile ya ha 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 kama nimevaa mavazi za gori za gorilla. Siku ya pili, tatu, wiki moja ikawa ni ikawa ni hivyo. So baada ya wiki ngapi? Mbili. Nikaanza ku adapt na hiyo job. So nikaanza kutembea kutoka huku 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 na pa, na pale pale tu Nairobi muzi, Museum. Nikiwa nimevali hizo mavazi za gorilla, unaona? So kwa bahati mbaya nikajikuta niko kwa nimeingia kwa cage ya, ya Simba. He, wacha Simba initoe nduki, eh? Wacha Simba inikimbize. Ini so kwa ile harakati ya kukimbia, eh? Unajua nilikuwa gorilla in acting. Nikasahau mimi ni gorilla in acting, eh? Nikajua mimi ni binada, binadamu. Na simu inanikimbiza mbi, inanikimbiza mbio. He, sema ku shout, kulia. So nikaanza kulia. He, help, help. Munisaidiani jameni, munisaidie simu inaniua. So unajua watu pia pale wako na simba inanikimbiza, juu mimi ni gori, ni gorilla. So kila mtu akawa anakimbia mbi, mbio. Hakuna mtu anakuja kunisaidia. Unaona? Kwa bahati mbaya au nzuri simba ikanirukia shi ikanishika ikaniangusha chini nikajua mimi mimi na hii dunia nika rush he sema kushtuka unajua ni nini amini msiamini hiyo simba ili whisper kwa masikio yangu ikaniambia we mimi ni kioko bwana hmm? mimi si simba hata vile mimi nilivaa mavazi ya simba ha? mimi ni kioko hata unaona ule mwenye ako pale ndani ya maji Uyo si uyo si mamba, uyo si crocodile, uyo ni msioka. Haya. <laughs> Sio kushtuka, eh? Simba nilithani ni simba, imeniambia, eh, mimi si simba. Hmm? Mimi, mimi ni kioko. Hata ule mamba unamwona pale kwa maji, uyo si mamba, uyo ni msioka. He, walai. Sio kushtuka. <laughs> So wazee usee Kenya kuna kazi. Kenya kuna kazi. Ukisikia Kenya kuna kazi, Kenya kuna kazi. So the only thing unafaa ufanye ukipata kazi, penda kazi yako. Regardless ni kazi aina gani. Hata kama uipendi just enjoy. Ifanye for fun, ifanye for fun, okay? But make sure 
ile kazi unafanya unajitolea jota biblia inasema whatever your hands finds to do do it with all your might all your strength na ujito ujitolee ujitolee ukiombanga goda kutafuta ile kazi unata, unataka na unapenda but for the time being ile kazi unapata ipe ipende okay guys okay so the main reason i decided to shoot this this video is that uh, i have an i have an inspirational story that i want to share with you you see there was a blind girl kulikuwa na msichana blind eh yeah? Blind ni mwenyana macho. Mwenyana macho moja anaitwa mono eye. Mwenyana macho zote anaitwa double eye. So, so the double eyes in general we call a blind eye. So there was a blind girl. And this blind girl hated her life as in alichukia maisha yake kabisa 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 kabisa. But the only person she has as a friend was her boyfriend. Hmm? Uyo boyfriend alikuwa anampenda sana sana. Hata Udema kampromise akamwambia in case one day one time in one way or the other hata kama nitakuwa nitakuwa blind eh? hata kama nitakuwa macho zangu zita recover you are the only person that I will ma I will marry. Okay? I won't marry anybody else except you my boyfriend. Miaka baada ya miaka. Miaka nenda miaka rudi. Udem. Kuna mtu ali donate macho akampea macho. Hm? Akape, akampea macho zote mbi, mbili. Udem hako anajua ni nani. Baada ya Udem kupata macho, macho aka realize we, kuma boyfriend wake pia ni blind na ni sura mbaya. Eh? Ana what it what blind ni sura mbaya. Eh? Ah akasema wewe boyfriend yangu eh si kwa anajua wewe ni blind kama mimi eh na tena si kwa anajua wewe ni sura mbaya eh ni ori mo mimi sikuoi hm ude makawana kibu akawana kiburi akamdump huyo boyfriend yake mwenye alikuwa blind hivyo so ah uh, like the day after that thing happened ude malipata text kwa simu yake so kupata text Okay sio okay alipata text ama alipata message ama alitumwa message in short alipata message kutoka kwa ule boyfriend wake mwenye alikuwa blind message ilikuwa nasemaje take care of my eyes i am your boyfriend who donated the eyes to you he usikidema alishtuka aje azina alikuwa blind boy wake ndo ali sacrifice akatoa macho akampea akawa sasa yako na macho boyfriend yake akawa hana ma, macho But I could realize boyfriend yake ana macho akamda akamdump. You see in life, in your life, hm? In your entire life, msije mkadharao mtu as in ukiwa in a certain position, ukiwa in a certain situation. Then u recover. Kumbuka those people who are with you. As in usi transform kwa someone else, usi change to be somebody else. Okay guys. So you just have to maintain your dignity something in you usikuwe na eagle remember where you come from okay guys remember the people who help you during your dark times okay guys so guys i don't have much to say but this is the part one of this story unajua kwa nini ni mama ku cut the story short time is the most precious thing and it can't be back backward <laughs> it can't root back nyuma So guys I don't have much to say the only thing I have to say to you just subscribe so to put an in part two of the story just jamaliza hii story juu ya ya time but make sure my subscribe so to put an in part two of the story otherwise my name is Golden Diamond and if you are new here please make sure you subscribe the channel is called Golden Diamond Pictures TV subscribe like and share this video but to the government manze jaribuni mcreat job opportunities kwa my youth jua kuna kazi hata nyinyi mnajua kuna kazi but pia nyinyi my youth manze msiple government jua kuna kazi kila mtu play role yake na upende unachokifa unachokifanya na ufanye unachokipenda kama hujapata kile unachokipenda but penda unachokifa unachokifanya but vile vile usisahau ile story na waambianga usidharau miguu ya kuku kwa sababu hiyo tu ndio imebeba nya imebeba nyama